Because this is, I can't, I want to get this over with. Who cares? Now, my dad was wonderfully taught me how to hold a book. They're precious. And he used to do this. <laughs> it's good. He used to go, ooh. Because he wanted me. And he used to place to get me excited. You hold a book as if you can't wait, and it's precious, and you're hiding a bit so they can't see. You never. Look at the difference between ooh and. <laughs> so the way you hold that book is important. And don't start the story straight away. No, you've got to be warmed up. I gave you a little peep. I talked about whiskers and baby mice. We read the title together, and then when I knew you were ready, off we went. And again, you need to have, no, this is so pathetic, but people don't realise how to hold a book when they're reading. Some people read like this. I see it all the time. And then we see the other lot that look mentally ill because they try to read upside down. <laughs> <laughs> and they try to go stare at you start to read in slow motion. The, 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 the. You can't read upside down. Put the book here. Yes. Then you've got this hand free. And I go, I use this to paint that good, big strawberry. My little mouse who climbed the ladder. This hand then is there to reinforce, okay? And even the way that you turn the pages is so important. There's nothing worse than people who read rhythmically. Oh, it makes you fall asleep. I'll show you how not to do it. You ready? <coughs> Hello, little mouse, how are you? <laughs> oh, I see. You never pick that red ripe strawberry. <laughs> the children start to... <laughs> Don't be rhythmic unless it's a rhythmic story. What you do is, the way you turn, if it's an exciting page, you go, yes! If it's a scary page, peep over for first. Oh, thank goodness. Phew. And on your last page, you can make such a lovely finish, you go like this. And that was the end of the story. Okay, give it a lovely finale. Just by the way you turn, and use the book. Sometimes peer over, sometimes come under, sometimes come sideways. If you're doing a sharp story, bum through. If you're doing owl babies, when the mummy owl flies, fly with the book. If you're doing hungry caterpillar and wiggle, become a chrysalis and a butterfly. Use every inch of that book to reinforce the story. And then, of course, all the way through, you've got to think of ways of involving the children. And you have high moments, low moments, calm moments, wild moments. But involve them, but don't keep stopping the story. I see practitioners doing this. They go, oh, the word tromp. Let's do... And they put the book down and I go, no, keep going. The word tromp. Tobra om. <laughs> no, you want to do a quick tromp and then you want to get on with it. Keep the flow going. So yes, ask some questions. Yes, get them to do sound effects. Yes, get them to do actions. But keep that. Don't keep stopping too long when they. Otherwise, they'll forget what they've got to. And also get them to look at the illustrations and the vocabulary. Of that word trump was a lovely word. When you get a lovely word, just say, "Oh, children, wasn't that lovely? A trump." It's lovely because and if there's a lovely word, you know, seize it. But don't spend 20 minutes trying to spell it. Just say it, and then you move on. But of course, there are three vital bits to storytelling. The first one is your face, the second one is your voice, the third one is the way you move. Now I do not sit down for story time unless it's a snuggly, sort of night timey one. Then I snuggle, but not for daytime, because for suspense I move closer. For excitement I move all up, I need to move about. So I need movement, I can't sit plopped on a chair, I need movement. But then, I'm going to now give you a test, and if you don't come up with the right, well, this is going to be hurtful and upsetting, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to, we'll have a competition between the two sides, because you are lovely at vibrating that side much better than this. Um, so this is your chance to build up the, well, I'm going to tell you whether you've got a storyteller's face or not, and I'm going to be honest with you, okay? All I'm going to ask you to do in just a minute is I'm going to ask you to look shocked. And I'll then give you a grade. 
If I give you a one, it means you were possibly unconscious. <laughs> if I give you a ten, you were brilliant. All right? So, loosen and relax, I can feel tension. So when I say go, this side only, you're going to look shocked. Ready, steady, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this side. This side you're gonna look shocked. Ready? Go. <laughs> right, because you showed off. Not... <laughs> now this side, come on, close to the chunk, you're gonna look shy. Ready? Go. Okay. One. <laughs> <laughs> show Shy. Go. Three. <laughs> now, now, I'm going to be totally honest with you, okay? I'm going to show you what many of you did in this room, and you don't see yourself. That's the problem. When you're videoed, you, it changes you forever because you do see yourself in ways you didn't. <laughs> but this is what, this is the honest truth. This is what some of you did for shocked. And you tell me if I look shocked, okay, you did this. <laughs> That's actually what some of you did. You were, I wasn't even startled. Now, what you have to know is that when you're storytelling, you have to imagine, the minute you start, an, an invisible magnifying glass has been lowered. And it exaggerates your face times three. So I'm going to show you a 10 out of 10. Are you ready? <laughs> so we're going to try again this song. Loosen. Ready, steady, go. Better. Now this side. Go. Yes. And do you want to know what almost everybody did for shy? I think you misheard me. I think you thought I said neke. Because this is what we did. <laughs> that is not shy. Now shy people fiddle. So, so you start off by and then they've got a finger like <laughs> So this side, you ready? <laughs> That's a fiddle. Now twiddle your hair, twiddle. Slowly, 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 slowly. Better. <laughs> and then last of all, the voice. Oh, <coughs> there is nothing worse than the voice of a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> now let's let's hear the, let's hear what wasp sounds like. Can you say strawberry five times in the same way? Go. Strawberry, 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 strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> now some people don't realise their voice is terrible. If you've got someone in your setting with a boring voice, please say to them you're boring. <laughs> and they you know, how many children are going to be subject to that over the years? Like, mm. <laughs> and there was, in my school, there was this man called Colin. He came to us new, and bless him, it wasn't his fault, he didn't have to do it. And he was so awful, I was going past his classroom one day, and I thought, that's terrible. You know, <laughs> and I heard him say, I'm going to do one more chapter, and I thought, you're not. And I pressed the fire alarm. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought those children being rescued and doing that thing. <laughs> you've got to use it's them. So you've all got voices, you can all use them, but you've got to let go. Okay, so, first, let's show what you can do with your voice. You're going to shout <clears> short, <throat> just once, the loudest your voice will scream so that people rush in because they think they're being an incident. All right, so scream it. Go. Scream! So you can all do loud. <laughs> now do it the very quietest you think your voice will go. Strawberry. No, quieter than that. Or even quieter. So you can do loud and soft. Now for exciting, do it quickly. Strawberry. Strawberry. 
Now for suspense, do it slowly. Strawberry. I think some of you misheard. <laughs> You know whether you're good or not. Does the faces show it? <laughs> That's what you're looking for. Well, what I also like to do is I try to add every dimension I can to a story. And sometimes, you know, the, the reason that I started Story Sacks is because I thought that was going to be the deluxe of storytelling. 